Protecting associates and the environment from exposure to chemicals are two important considerations in your company's overall safety and health program. The chemical safety part of the safety and health program is called hazard communications, right to know, and oftentimes just referred to as HAZCOM. But it's really information you need to know to protect yourself from potential hazards associated with the use, handling, storing and disposing of chemicals and other hazardous substances. You might associate hazardous chemicals with industrial applications or large spills you see on television, and that would be correct. But chemicals or hazardous substances are everywhere, and they're in your workplace. Now there's no need to be alarmed. Millions of people work safely around chemicals every day, and so can you. All you need to do is follow the procedures outlined in this program and take personal responsibility for your safety and the safety of those around you. Your property has a written Hazard Communications HAZCOM plan outlining safety steps and procedures, training information, chemical inventory, labeling procedures, and other information your company considers important when using, handling, storing, and disposing of chemicals. The written plan is your guide to safety and health, as well as making sure all the regulatory standards of hazard communications are achieved. The written plan also identifies the person or persons who are responsible for the chemical inventory, the written procedures, and coordinating the HAZCOM program plan in your organization as well as properly maintaining all safety data sheets, also known as SDSs. We'll discuss safety data sheets in just a few minutes, but for now, let's take a basic look at chemicals and how they can affect your safety and health. 